We ain't afraid of no ghosts. So we're gonna find all of the ghouls hiding around Hill House. And we're not just talking about the emotional ghosts haunting the family. We're talking about the shadowy figures and spooky specters of Netflix's hit series, The Haunting of Hill House, lurking beside the staircase and in the dark corners of every room. So join Screen Rant as we try to catch them all. And while you're here, click that subscribe button and join our notification squad to stay up to date on all the things that go bump in the night. Episode 1 Inspired by one of the greatest horror novels of all time, Shirley Jackson's book of the same name is naturally unsettling. Mike Flanagan, director of the series, is no slouch himself. He and the creative team went out of their way to stock the screen full of pale figures who surround our favorite characters. Whether we notice them or not, their presence freaks out our subconscious. In the first episode, Steven sees a ghost, a face looks back at us during the tour of the house. It's placed between two poles in the railing of the staircase and it kind of looks like Captain Howdy from The Exorcist if you freeze the frame and zoom in. There's also a face behind Nell as she sits in her bed toward the beginning of the first episode. Plus, there's a blink and you'll miss an appearance of the bent neck lady a couple minutes later. Then in Steven's room, when the doorknob is jostling, there's a man lurking behind Steven. Not one, but three ghosts leer from the area to the right of the stairs as Hugh and Steven run down the staircase. When Liv talks religion with Mrs. Dudley towards the end of episode one, there's a ghastly man looking out from behind a grandfather clock in the background. The time is Nightmare O'Clock. Episode 2 features less undead beings than the first installment of Hill House, but they're no less impactful than Clock Guy and the Staircase People, which would make a great band name, by the way. When Liv explains how a house is like a living thing, in a way that's sure to scar Shirley for life, there's a blonde kid watching them from behind the bushes in the distance. Shortly afterward, a blurry body stands just out of focus in the kitchen behind Liv. If it was hungry, should have just asked to live for a sandwich. Episode 3 has the most ghost cameos of the lot. There's a person behind the kitchen door, just behind Theo. You can make out their face staring through a window in the door. After Theo and Luke play with a the dumbwaiter, there's a woman in a dress that the kids don't seem to notice. She notices them, though, from across the dining room. As Theo and Luke mess around with the dumbwaiter shortly after, there's a figure watching them in the next room. When Theo strolls through the kitchen ten minutes later, we can see the side of a feminine figure to her left. Less than a a minute later, keen-eyed observers might notice the eyes staring back at you through the ladder leading to the basement. About 10 minutes after that, a ghoul watches Olivia through the doorway, two rooms away. There's also the baldy in the hall, who seems to be watching young Theo as she walks around the house. Behind Olivia, as she sits in the dining room after the bald ghost stalked Theo, there's a face just beyond her in the frame. When Hugh, Luke, and Nell march down the hall during their last night at Hill House, they don't say goodnight to the guy standing behind the lampshade. Rude. Seconds later, you might catch a ghost or two standing in the shadowy room behind Hugh. Episode 4 A little after 8 minutes into the episode, a tall man stands in the area behind young Luke and Nell as they try to convince Liv and Hugh of Hill House's ghostly nature. Soon after this moment, there's a doozy of a ghost standing at attention in front of a distant window. The long-haired woman is a few rooms away from Hugh and Liv as they share a romantic moment. Then Luke and Nell get watched again in the kitchen. This time, a face stares at them through the glass on the left side of the wide shot of the kitchen. Also, an aged lady is reflected in the brass horn-shaped communication system at around 14 and a half minutes into the episode. And don't forget the two guys at the bottom of the staircase, because they appear when young Luke runs down the steps. At the top of episode 5, Liv encourages Nell not to worry about the bent neck lady. If only someone could tell Liv about the ghost behind her. And if they could also divulge to Liv's alter ego, Carla Gugino, that this ghost is played by none other than her Gerald's Game co-star, Bruce Greenwood. Another ghost appears to the left of Liv about a half a minute later. But even creepier is the ghost crouching beneath the piano. It's the moment when Theo walks in on Liv as she talks with Nell about the drawings on the wall. We see some tensed hands pressed on the floor in the bottom left of the screen. A minute later, a ghost is behind Nell's right side in the shadows behind her. Episode 7 Apparently there are no hidden ghosts in the sixth episode of the series, but maybe we just haven't found them all yet. And now on to episode 7. When younger Hugh walks through a hallway shortly before the episode's 40 minute mark, there's a pale figure staring at him from a doorway behind his right side. In the basement, as Hugh spends time fixing up the house, a bald man seems to be staring out from beside the shelves beside Hugh. Around the same time, there's also a creepy woman with waist-length hair staring at him, just out of focus. She peers in from 
from the next room. A couple minutes later, the blonde is back in the basement, with her hand pressed around the wall behind Hugh and the officers. Episode 9 More watchers lurk around the family here in the series' second-to-last installment. First, as Hugh stands over Liv on the couch, a spirit appears to stand in the dimly lit window behind her. Another ghost can be seen in the far background. It's standing behind a chandelier two rooms away from Hugh and can be seen around 60 seconds into the episode. Seven minutes later, there's a face right in front of our very eyes. The creative team didn't try too hard to hide this guy staring back at us from a window on the right side of the screen. Seconds later, the man in the window reappears beside Liv. And how could anyone use the staircase in this house with all the paranormal activity? Another figure appears by the stairs when Shirley travels around the house for some food. Back at the stairs for the end of the episode, another ghostly man man stands in the doorway on the right side of the screen. It's right as Liv prepares to leave the house, and it's the last hidden ghost we'll see before we leave Hill House as well. Until episode 10. That is, we get one more visitation in the final episode. A little after the 50 minute mark, the ghost watches Steven from the room past the parted curtains. Scared yet? Well, don't be. Screen Rant will be here to keep you company. We'll always be around. Whether you're being kept awake by that shadow in your closet or the creaking in your hall. Ward off those scary thoughts and brighten up your room by watching our videos. Videos. Also, keep haunting our channel and writing in our comments section. Meanwhile, we'll keep giving you content on all your favorite scary movies and TV shows. See you around.